So she's going to load the, the tube tester up and then run the sequence. This is a tube tester that was designed uh, with aerospace engineers uh, along with Randall Smith himself. It does, the, it does all of the normal tests that any manufacturer would do to match the tubes, but there are also a couple of predictive tests that uh, Randall incorporated uh, with those aerospace engineers uh, that allow us to further determine how uh, reliable a tube might be. Um, there's no way to completely predict what uh, what the longevity or the reliability of a tube is going to be, but through some of these additional tests, we're able to further weed out tubes that show signs of, of maybe not being as reliable as others and uh, allows us to um, further uh, weed out tubes that might be a question at all and, and just ultimately go with the absolute cream of the crop and, and, and tubes that we feel are the best and most consistent and most reliable for the amps. Martin. So there's a, a static voltage that is going to each of the tubes and it's being determined within the parameters that we've set that each tube is uh, falling within those parameters as well as listing what the tube's response is to that static voltage so we can start to match tubes in pairs and quartets and whatnot. So now we'll do a hammer test for each one. The tubes get sort of a, a spike in voltage that's a little bit hotter than normal. And then we do the hammer test for, uh, for shock and weeding out any tubes that are uh, particularly sensitive at those higher, uh, higher currents and higher voltages. So the color codes for different matching are listed on the screen and obviously they print out on the printer and we'll go ahead and apply those printouts to the base of the tubes and match the tubes in pairs and package them appropriately so you can have match pairs and quartets in your amp. 